Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this morning. I know that I am. I am up early, child, because I got to go over to our, okay, I got to I gotta go to Arkansas, okay? Um, I was getting ready to say something about Arkansas, but um, I, I'm not gonna say it. But hey, Arkansas, cool, okay? Um, um, I I want to thank all of my old subscribers, all of my new subscribers, all of my future subscribers for your support. Right? I appreciate you guys so much for your support for this channel. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. And if you would like to support the channel, you can hit me up on the Cash app or on the Super Thanks, okay? There's a Super Thanks uh, a thanks button at the bottom of the screen, and you could definitely hit me up on with the Super Thanks button, okay? This morning, I want to do a short little video, okay? And it's 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 a short video. Uh, it's it's more it's more inspiration and awareness, okay? And in the wake of, I'm gonna tell y'all something. In in the wake of what had happened to uh, CEO TZ, of course, I know that it's nobody's fault, but seeing the way that they went over there and took CEO TZ out, you know. Um, Looking at some of CEO Teasy's posts, looking at uh, some of his pictures in the last days, I, I think CEO Teasy knew something was in the atmosphere. Um, and I just, I think that it's, it's cold-blooded the way, I mean, and I, I feel like they used him. And once they used him, they disposed of him, Okay. Once they felt like they could not use him anymore. Because, see, they got them to do the very ultimate thing. They got them to do, I, I think it was more than likely in the making anyways. They had, when they sat down and planned all of this stuff as it relates to Young Dolph, I believe that they had planned it from A to Z, but they didn't plan on the feds being as deep as they are, right? And um, I, I believe that... It's always in the cars, as I've always said, you know, what these little dudes don't understand is when oftentimes when they go and do situations like this, when they start taking them out, right, when they start getting taken out for retaliatory, it looks like retaliatory situations, but oftentimes it's, it's just the people that paid them cleaning up right and i i really i, I hate that happened to ceo tz because even with his involvement in young doll situation um i i, I would have liked to see i like justice i like i like justice right i don't like to see people lose their lives just like what happened to young doll was absolutely heinous in nature and you know just cold and barbaric and and what ended up happening was I do believe that members of CMG, in my opinion, uh, got with those dudes, gassed them up and paid them and motivated them to uh, go over there and to, to hunt Young Dolph down. Just like they was out of town when that had, they did tease like that. They, you know, they they creatures of habit. Uh, you know, they they have the, they're very predictable as far as their routines and things of that nature. Right. Um, but I wanted to say this, you know, Young Dolph is still spinning in, in this, in, in, and you know, they just don't want these little dudes to know that. And so I know even more so with, with the situations that's going on, I know people are saying, but you know, there are killings and stuff. Of course, yes, there are killings. Um, and you, you think about a lot of these little dudes are on pills and stuff real, real bad. And so what they do is they go and they pick up these little dudes that got real bad habits. And unfortunately, they don't really realize what they've done until they're serving, they're in jail detoxing and serving a life sentence. And so that's the reason why you see some of these people uh, grinning and acting like, um, you know, um, they're untouchable and things of that nature. You know, I was thinking about Yo Gotti. And when I was saying that, you know, it's been some people to come together, I'm talking about 
uh, some some spiritual people to come together and and go into the spiritual realm as it relates to that man, because he has released a demonic force he and his brother into the atmosphere. And at first, I wanted to give Juk a pass. Okay, I did. I wanted to give him a pass because everybody around the Memphis area had always knew, even my cousins that used to run with them tough. Okay, um, yeah, they're a bunch of goons. Okay. Um, knew that, um, has every, everybody always knew the history of, of that, um, that his brother always went and did his time. And I think it's so sad to be a man. You have become so comfortable with orchestrating and destroying lives and having other people to go and do your dirt and and going to do your time like Keon is in jail right now for for something that they wanted, you know. And Keon was is a grown man, but I can't understand how Keon, who probably has children, has family, could put could put his life on hold to go and do something heinous for somebody else just to be given a generic position on his label, right? And so, unfortunately, um. You know, th these are the types of things that ha has happened. But Young Dolph is still spinning in the spiritual. Because I'm going to tell you something. When people start talking about it, it just seems like, you know, nothing is going to happen. Well, that's how it always seems, right? It always seems like that nothing is going to happen. And people have to put on a facade when they want to consistently put batteries in the backs of these young dudes to go and do their dirty work, Okay. Um, they want to make it seem like, look, we, we have an hour way. We could do this and ain't nothing going to happen. That's why they have folks putting stuff into the atmosphere as it relates to the police. And even if they got some little soldiers out there that's in patrol, that's, that's, you know, giving them heads up, uh, tipping them off, it still can't stop the wheels of justice from turning. You know, um, police patrolmen don't have any thing to do with an investigation they cannot they don't have any influence over the investigation they can't even look at the notes in an investigation right so so that's an oxymoron right um just because you know somebody you have somebody work for the police department it means nothing especially if they ain't got no rank and even if they had a little rank what kind of rank do they got if they ain't no chief or nothing they might as well have a seat right uh, but then what people fail to understand is that the feds don't have any and the police department, even though they're working together on this situation, um, the, the, they've always had like a love hate relationship. Right. Their egos. And that's one of the things I've always said that I liked about uh, Chief Davis is that at least you understand that it is a good thing to go and get the federal entities that has unlimited funds and resources that don't run out and can't run out to bring them in. Okay. Um, even in the beginning bef before, you know, she, she, she started working with them in the very beginning. Right. But that money and stuff was crossing straight lines, straight dropping them. We're going, uh, doing, uh, crossing interstate situations. So, um, they would have been, they would have gotten in anyways, right? But they they want people to think young doll spirit is very strong, okay? Um, it is. His he's he's just he's spinning in the spiritual steel, and these dudes know that. And so what they have to do is put on this facade. Because I do believe that one of them, you know, a few of them probably think that they can't be touched. And the sad thing about it is those that work closely with them. They're they are they're probably trying to um, strategize their next move on who's gonna get knocked off of their so-called chessboard, right? Who's gonna get knocked off of their so-called chessboard? Because you know they start people that they feel like is beneath them, even if they was the closest to them, they just start knocking them down, right? Okay, we we're, we're going into self-preservation mode. They probably made a pact. Is in the end, it's gonna be us three left, right? Or, or however many it was that uh, um, came up and concocted this plan to bring other people in the root of the tree to try and take down Young Dolph. Okay, but they have to make these little dudes believe that um, that they're not nothing is gonna happen. 
And so that's the reason that's the reason why I believe they started they've started getting their affiliates like little Migos and all of them to go and start signing a lot of these little dudes to to bring them to start giving them record deals and things of that nature um, and get ready to get these little dudes lives messed over. It's basically to, to that basically giving them a little fame and a little money, even if they got talent to try and bring them in to take care of their ops, not telling them, hey, the feds all over me. But I'm I'm basically using you to put you in the front of me so that you can handle a situation that you're not going to be able to win anyways, because those little dudes can't go up against the government. Right. They, they can't do it. They don't even know what they are up against. But the people that's that's, you know, spoon feeding them and putting batteries in their backs, they know. I don't care how many ski masks you put on. I don't care how much you how many weapons they give you. You can't win against a government that's already got you up under surveillance. Right. And it is by way of them. So a lot of people, you know, uh, Young Dolph is still spinning. And, and this is a. You know, when I heard the a district attorney say, uh, this is a chess game, he was like, we got our chess board out and now we're placing our pieces because it's, it was it was it was it was more than the thing about it is they they really took TZ out for nothing. Basically, they did. They didn't even have to do anything to TZ. Right. Um, and. I think it's sad that you probably, you know, a, a lot of the other ones that think that they're safe that's around them, um, some of the, whoever it was that did this to Young Dolph, they're not safe either, okay? Because the next move, the, when the feds, they go up on the ground and they're like, boom, when that, when they, when, when it's that boom, when you hear that boom again and you start seeing those and seeing some indictments, what they're going to do is they're going to go back to their generic chessboard because they're not going to know where it's coming from. The truth of the matter is it's many, it's a plethora of people talking. People that they don't even know about. Right? So when the feds say boom again, okay? Because as I've been saying now, it's cuffing season. It is that. All right? I told y'all it is. A lot of the little people that thought that they was in good, they're gonna start, they're gonna start messing with them again. We know, we know that TZ was one of the ones that could also touch the top and the bottom. He was the gang leader, right? I don't think TZ's family and loved ones are fooled by what happened or whatever. Which is the reason why they didn't, they they had they did not allow certain people to come to their funeral. And you could tell, like. Look at how people have gone, gone on living their lives. They still haven't said rest in peace. Nothing. Right? He meant, they used him. He meant nothing to them. And I think it's a shame that, you know, a lot of these little dudes um, don't realize that. They look at them as just mules. That's it. It's about going to do my dirty work. We ain't going to tell them. Why we ain't gonna tell them, you know, really why we doing it. We ain't gonna tell them that the folks are all over us, but that they can't get away with it. As soon as you we don't really care if they get away with it. All we want them to do is go take out our threat. And if he get caught, you know, hey, we done paid him. He will will, I guess we'll pay for his lawyer. But if he say something, we're gonna take him out. That's it. That's what these little dudes don't understand. And it is happening, right? But they got to make them think that ain't nothing going to happen. We run the city, we this, we that. Shit, you better ask somebody that know. Why you all think a lot of these folks don't respect the city of Memphis? Because they ain't having their way like they thought, or like, like they want to put out into the atmosphere, rather. Okay, they ain't having their way like that. You when you when you come and try to hijack a city and don't give back, it's got a lot to do with uh, you not being able to have your way like you want to other than manipulating these little dudes. And that is consistently promoting genocide within the community, which a lot of which is why a lot of people don't have respect for some of these folks. 
but you're not putting back into the city, but you want to hijack the city. When I say hijack the city, that is, I want to be able to put businesses into the city or, you know, I, I want y'all to support the business of me and my family and my friends. But now nah, we ain't gonna get do a damn thing but put guns into the communities to these little dudes, okay? So that they can go and commit genocide when we get mad, okay? But young Dolph is still spinning, uh, spinning on them, okay? Don't, don't, don't ever think that he's not. Um, I know sometimes, like with with people, people want a microwave justice, okay? The wheels of justice spin slowly. So that nothing is ever off track. Okay. I understand that. So, you know, you have to let people continuously play in the face of think they're playing in the face of the of the feds. Uh, they went too far this time. Uh, a, a lot of things that some of these folks had did, they had been gone too far, but they always had somebody to they was always always able to pay somebody to go and pay retribution for them as it relates to doing time and things of that nature. Ain't nobody going to take no money for 60 years. Okay. Some of the ones that you see right now, I don't believe, you know, want to do 60 years. Okay. All right. That's, that, that's called the wheels of justice, you know, when, and, and young Dolph spinning, when you start seeing those that you never would have expected, you know, saying something, right? Right. But, you know, hey, I think right now my concern is um, seeing what they're doing to these little dudes. And now I see that they've kind of gotten away from it, but they have their affiliates now because they know all heat is on them. People understand Um why a lot of these little dudes was being signed and they got some of their affiliates on their labels going and signing these little dudes that's out there right and basically signing them to be hit men and that's the reason why i said um some of these little dudes don't don't know how how um was you know they don't they don't realize what's going on at this point okay but hey it ain't sweet it's not sweet. And um, don't let these people, if you have a gift, let them know, just like J90 did. I ain't on that. Even if he was on it for a minute, he knew that he didn't want to stay on that because he didn't want to go back. And them little dudes is talented. Okay? But let them folks know that you ain't on that. Because they're not going to tell you that they're up under surveillance. And that they're going to be going down for what they did to young Dolph, okay? And don't let them send y'all out to try and take out anybody that they feel like might be talking or could actually be a threat. See, a lot of people happy now, and I started seeing a lot of people pop out, as Player Code would say, that had not been out the CEO TZ was killed. Because I guess they feel like they can breathe a little better. But it ain't going to work out for them because God ain't on that, Okay. Because God says, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. Not only is God going to get them back for what they've done to people, because I can't understand how they think they God. You can't, God ain't going to let you be happy and let you live happily ever after and you destroying and taking people's lives. But they're also destroying the lives of these little dudes that's hoping to come up off a rap and then they dangle money in front of their faces to go take people's lives. And they already know that they are under surveillance. That's the reason why they're getting locked up as soon as they do something. Okay? The worst thing them little dudes in Frazier could have ever did was got with Lil Migos. As hot, because Lil Migos is hot off the press. And he bringing it on himself because he got the wrong people in his ear. Right? So... Anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't think ain't no don't don't ever think uh young Dolph is still spinning. His spirit is strong, he's got way more power than any human can have. He's ascended to another dimension. They can't touch that. God says, I have to make them think they win it. Okay. So that's his opportunity to step in and let all the people and the spectators and the you know around 
to show them that I am the only living God, not Gotti, not Juke, not not nobody who has who has taken on not Jay Z, not anybody that has taken on a God like complex. And he said, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. I'm going to call the little dude's mama today. Okay. Because I know she don't play that. And I want for, because I'm going to tell you something. If you see somebody's child is getting ready to get messed up and going down the wrong path. If you know you can't say anything to the child because he's a fool, I don't care if he is a young adult. If you have some type of rapport with their parents, why don't you pull their parents to the side? Because anybody love their kids, right? It's time for us to stop keeping our mouths closed. And if there is something that you can prevent, because we already know that they're sending these little dudes on suicide missions. That's what it is, suicide missions. And when I say suicide missions, when they send them out here uh, to try and take people out, right? They paying them to be little hitters. Those are suicide missions because what they're doing is they're making them a target one way or the other. They're going to put them into retaliatory situations or their families. Or they're going to put them in a position where the government is going to handle them. And what did the DA say? We're going to get ready to start sending them to the death chair. And so, like I said, they get the ones that's on pills and things of that nature. Um, because, unfortunately, they don't really, it don't really hit them. They be so barbaric. It don't really hit them until they in, in jail detoxing. And then they go, what the F did I do? And then that anger and stuff starts coming up. But, hey, they on to the next person. They're on to the next person and they only stick around long enough to buy them lawyers, pay for them lawyers to make sure that you don't tell on them. Okay. That's what they do. And what they do is they immediately start saying, I'm going to take care of your family so they can know who your family is. So if you turn on them, they can go in and have somebody send somebody over there to hit your mama now. Right. So these young dudes are going to have to start being smarter. Okay. Y'all going to have to start being smarter and stop allowing them to ruin your future. If a man, if they had issues with young Dolph, how come they didn't handle, God, could have handled young Dolph himself. He could have said, man, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's fight. Okay. Let's, um, let's, let's handle this. Juke was way bigger than, than young Dolph. How come he didn't do that? But instead they wanted his life. And that's the reason why we know God going to whoop their ass is cat raggedy. Okay. But they have to make it look good for the little dudes that they sent out. Because they have to give them this false illusion that you're going to do it and get away with it. And it ain't going to work out like that. It never does. Because God says, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. And that $100 million loan can't even stop that. Okay. But anyways, you guys, I want to put that into the atmosphere. Okay. I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. And no, I am not hating on anybody. Believe it or not, this was a this was a come to Jesus, wake up, have an epiphany type message. And I hope when they listen to it, they offer that them pills and stuff. Okay, because if they listen to it, they'll know I'm kicking some game to them to try to help them out. Because if you got your, the Bible says the your gifts will make room for you. You ain't got to go commit no hits. Okay, to be seen, straight drop thought that he could do that, and look at where it landed him. It ain't gonna work out. If you got the gift, if you a rapper. Your gift gonna make room for you. You gonna that means you're gonna get your break if you do it the right way, anyway. Okay. Always remember that. But please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App. I love you guys. You guys be safe and have a good day. Okay.